What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am just getting ready to film a, another video. I'm gonna be doing a Shein haul. I am gonna be just bringing you along for my weekend. I feel like I haven't done a weekend in my life in forever, so you're just gonna spend the weekend with me, I guess, if you choose to. I just got off the phone with my grandma, and I think after I film, I'm gonna take the dogs to go see her in town, because are you really opening up this drawer? Stop, because I haven't seen her for like two weeks, three weeks, something like that. And then I obviously need to get groceries too, but I'm not gonna get groceries tonight if I'm taking the dogs with me because I'm not gonna leave the dogs at my grandma's house by themselves because she had surgery like Thanksgiving on her toes. She's been in a cast. She ended up breaking her foot that was in the cast. And so she's still literally been in the same boot since before Thanksgiving, but I think she's finally starting to heal now. Yeah, so I wanna go visit her and I can't, get groceries today if I take the dog so I'm probably gonna have to go get groceries tomorrow which works out better anyway because um, I also need to go to Ulta because I think it's like their 21 days of beauty sale is happening or whatever and their it cosmetics CC cream and their brushes are gonna be 50% off tomorrow so I'm like yes that's the only way I'm gonna get it because it's so expensive and also if you've kept up with my other vlogs I want to look into getting a curling iron so I'm just gonna do that tomorrow as well. Don't I look so different with one eyebrow done? One eyebrow. One eyebrow done and one not done. Jared's currently at work so he won't get home until late tonight but he did finally finish our guest bathroom and it looks so good and he also replaced the sink in the bathroom too to like match the darker hardware and not silver hardware so it looks so much better. I'll give you guys an update on that later as well. I'm gonna finish my makeup, film my sheet home real fast. This is like a Shein lounge set that I've literally been living in since I got my order in a few days ago. Ooh, and I got my first PR package that I'm gonna open up with you guys. I wanted to open it so badly today, but I was like, no, I'm gonna save it to open up with the vlog. So we're gonna do that. And yeah, I'm just literally chit-chatting your ear off already. I've been talking for five minutes. So I'm gonna stop and finish getting ready and then I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I just got done filming my Shein haul. You can see I have so much right there, pile of clothes on my bed. Yeah, my whole room is just a mess, but I wanted to show you guys the outfit that I'm gonna wear to my grandma's. It's this Colorado shirt. It's an oversized shirt from Shein. Claw clips from Shein as well. I just paired it with these biker shorts from Amazon. They're so freaking comfortable. I just got these in the mail this week. They're like this black leopard kind of print and love them. So cozy, but I just love the look of like an oversized t-shirt with some biker shorts and some AF1s. I think it's so cute, such a vibe. But I need to let the dogs out. I need to get this situation figured out to take them to town with me. Cause Honey's never ridden in the car by herself without like somebody holding her. And I'm not gonna be holding a 25 pound dog while I'm driving 30 plus miles. So gotta get that figured out. So here is my very first PR package that I've ever received. Uh, I'm so excited. It's from Bondi Sands. They sent me some new skincare stuff. Um, they reached out to me like back in January, I feel like. And they said they were gonna send something in February and it never came. So I just kind of forgot about it and then like a week ago I got an email with the tracking so I was very excited and knew I wanted to open it with you guys because you guys are the reason why I'm getting this. It says your good skin day awaits. I freaking hope so girl. Ugh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's literally so cute. Look at this. I am obsessed. It's just so springy. Looks like we got a Hyaluronic Acid Serum, um, yes please. And then we got a Hydrated Whipped Moisturizer, and then a Purifying Clay Mask. How fun. Ah, I'm so excited, I can't wait to try these products out. And thank you so freaking much, Bondi Sands, for sending me this. I am literally obsessed. And I think Mr. Bubba's is excited for his mama too. Thank you, Bubba's, thank you. Oh, I feel like a mom. I'm bringing a little tote bag with some treats some toys and if they're blanky. Honey, come on, let's go. 
Let's go for a ride. Let's go for your first ride by yourself. Oh, she's such a chunk butt. She went to the vet the other day and it's 25 pounds. Granger, come on. Lay down, please. You stay. No, honey, stay. I got the bed for honey to lay on. The Granger's being a big old baby and taking the whole thing. We're pulling into grandma's driveway right now. Did you finally get to lay on the bed, honey? Okay, so we are finally freaking home. It is 9.04, way past mama's bedtime. I did not plan on staying in town that long and I didn't want to stay in town that long, but when I got there, I realized that I had not freaking ate since 11.30 this morning. So I was really hungry and I was trying to stick to something healthy-ish and it's Friday, so I can't eat meat and my grandma had already ate. And so I was like, well, should I just door dash some sushi? So that's what I did. I think I ordered it at like, 620 or something and it said that it would take like 40 minutes so I was like that's not bad you know like 7 maybe I did it at like 630 because it was like 710 or something when it would have been there I, we kept checking the thing because it just kept getting later and later and no updates had been done and when we checked the DoorDash thing it said it wasn't gonna arrive until like 833 and I'm like are you freaking kidding me two hours like I never would have ordered it if I would have known it was gonna take that long because I didn't plan on staying in town that late anyway it got there at like 8 15 i think and i literally inhaled it so that i could get home yeah now i'm home freaking tv keeps disconnecting from the internet all the time and i hate it so i'm getting this set back up so that i can watch some more basketball me and my grandma watched the ku game and ku barely pulled it off i didn't finish it i left with like seven minutes left because i was like i need to come home i'm so tired my poor dogs like they were up moving around the whole ride to grandma's and on the way back it was pure silence because they were just knocked out in the back seat but i I am not too hungry. I just kind of have like a sweet tooth kind of, but I don't want anything like unhealthy again. I feel like the sushi that I had wasn't the healthiest and I had dairy because it had cream cheese. So I think I'm just gonna have one of the built Bars that I have because it gets me some more protein. I'll show you which one that I have. So I think I'm gonna have this built Bar. It's the cherry. I don't know how to say that. What are you doing? Now you're all hyper? Now you're all hyper, huh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have this one. I wanna heat it up because I think they're so much better when they're heat it up but I don't have any small plates so I think I might just eat it like that and then my grandma gave me some of this stop pain continuous back spray because my freaking back has been killing me like the last probably two weeks and nothing I've done has helped it at all she did put some of this stuff on there the roll-on stuff which I think is the same exact stuff and it kind of like masked it it like kind of like made it icy hot so it's not as painful but I think when Jared gets home I'm gonna have him spray this on there because I cannot I cannot deal with the pain I think I like pulled a muscle or something it's like right underneath my shoulder blade on the right side of my body one day it'll hurt so bad the next day I won't even feel anything and it's just back and forth and honestly I'm just so over it I just remembered not that I was gonna watch it tonight anyway because of basketball but I just remembered that season two of Bridgerton came on Netflix tonight maybe we'll watch that sometime this weekend I don't know okay so I just washed my face it feels so good to wash your face and get all the makeup off now I'm gonna try some of the Bondi Sands skincare stuff that they sent me like I said that earlier I got the thirsty skin which is some hydrating hyaluronic acid serum I got some daydream hydrating whipped moisturizer which I don't know how great these are gonna work for me because I feel like I don't need anything hydrating and then I got Bondi babe the purifying clay mask which I'm not gonna use this one tonight it sounds really cool but I'm gonna wait because I'm not gonna do a mask so I think I do the hyaluronic acid serum first it says apply two to three drops of Bondi sand to clean damp skin so two to three drops one two or three it's not really drops but you know it feels like a gel kind of stuff or a serum I guess Duh. so that is done now I'm just gonna add some of this whipped moisturizer massage a pea size amount into face and neck after your serum or oil oh shit that was a lot I don't think they have scent or maybe I just still can't smell. Oh, this, okay. <laughs> this feels whip. It feels nice, but I got way too much. I really like that. That feels so good. I kind of want to like plug these into that website I was talking to you guys about last 
vlog the like Aldi or something like that it like kind of tells you what you should be using for your face and like what your current skincare products like contain and everything so I kind of want to do that just to see if it's actually like gonna help my face or like hurt my face I guess but skincare is done for the night oh I didn't add my lip mask yet so I need to do that just look how cute my puppies are they were both looking at me but now they moved <laughs> they're so tired sister just blowing in the wind she loves laying in front of the fan <laughs> working out and then I threw on my little waffle knit lounge set back on because I live in this now. Now I'm just making some breakfast, some oatmeal. But yeah, I had a really good full body workout and it's been like my favorite thing lately to get up Saturday morning and just crush a workout. It was 10 o'clock and I was already done with my workout for the day. Now I kind of have like crazy busy day the rest of the day. I need to get groceries. I need to finish editing my Shein haul to get it up tomorrow. I also need to go to Ulta. I also kind of maybe want to watch like an episode of Bridgerton or something while Jared's home. I think he has to work today. I'm not sure what time though. It fluctuates day to day. So maybe he'll want to watch a quick episode of that before he goes to work. I think Duke plays today. I want to watch Duke because I have them in the championship game. So I need to, I need to keep watching them to see if they can make it there. I kind of want to take Granger on a walk because it's supposed to be like kind of nice out today and it's literally been so cold all week. So I just kind of want to get back into that. But I don't know if that's going to happen. This is my after workout meal. My breakfast. Just my little gourmet oatmeal that I make and I love and I'm obsessed with. So I showered and used my little Revlon blow dryer to do my hair. And I was gonna show you our bathroom because we just got some new stuff in that Jared ordered. So it's kind of messy right now because I just took a shower. But this is the finished result of everything done. We're going to take down this like stand caddy, how it goes from the ceiling all the way down to, you know, the tub and just put these floating ones in. We just got these in and I think they'll look pretty good. We've had this like sprayer thing for a while, but Jared just changed like the little spout thing, I guess. I don't know what to call it, to that color. We still are on the hunt for a turner honor and a faucet thing that's in like the same color. And then Jared also changed the fountain, or what is this called? The fountain? I don't know. He changed this thing the other day. It was like a silver one, but it kind of just matches the whole vibe of everything we have going on. So yeah, and then he got another exciting thing in the mail that I'm gonna go show you because he's kind of just playing with it right now. So this is our bathroom and he got, babe, show him what you got. Some grout pens like I said we should get all along the whole freaking time. <laughs> But we're gonna do this shower, this like gray color, cause he wanted a gray, cause he didn't want to change out the silver of everything. Look how much better that looks, and it's so simpler. And so you got good. like what, 10? You get 10 of them for 15 bucks. Yeah, you? and 10 is gonna be plenty to do yeah. this whole thing. Hopefully, anyway. I mean. It's gonna take it, a lot less time. Well, yeah. So way less yeah. messy. Yeah, it basically looks like a Sharpie. Yeah, it's like a, sh a gray Sharpie, but it's like grout. Ma'am, what are you doing? <gasps> She's really loud. Are you thirsty? I don't think I've ever seen like gray grout before. 
It's literally just like an adult coloring book. Just stay between the lines. Yep. Hell, I could do that. Yeah, I guess you got something to do in the next couple of days. No, you do. I need you to start up there. Mm, no. You like the color? It's not bad. It's better than what it is now. Yeah, it'll give it more uniform look. Right. And you just wipe it off. And oh. you just smear it right <laughs> down there. Just like that. Nifty. This is what it currently is now. It's like a really ugly cream color. So I just feel like it will look so much better at once. It's all well, done. Well, I think it's supposed to be like a light gray, but the fact that we have hard water here probably doesn't help. That does not look gray at all. It looks like a cream or a white. It'll look good. So yeah. Okay, so this is the little running errands outfit for today. I have a Sheen hair clip in my hair. Literally went on a hair clip buying spree. Got some new Shein earrings. Of course, a Shein top. And I just have it tucked into my sports bra, which is also Shein. <laughs> the same Amazon biker shorts that I was wearing last night. I just literally wore them to my grandma's house and that is it. So I was like, I'm gonna wear them again. And then Avi Nike AF1s. And yeah, this is just the little Little quick fit to go to Ulta and go get some groceries. Before Jared left for work, we rubbed each other down with this because we're both just having back pain right now. His is his lower back. This is his first time using it and he literally just texted me and said, I don't even feel my back pain anymore with this stuff on, plus my hated seats. Which is so true. I mean, it worked for me last night, but today I don't think he went like in far enough because I can feel it like working on where he put it, but my pain is more inward and I'm still having really bad back pain. But if you're needing something to cure your back pain or really kind of any pain at all, this stuff is really good. I don't know where my grandma got it. My grandma literally gave this to me last night and then she gave this to me years ago. So I'm sure they sell it at like Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, all those places, but definitely look into that if you're having some pain. Okay, so I just left Walmart and I went to Ulta and then I went to Dylan's and then I went to Walmart. I forgot to vlog, but at Dylan's I got this Simple Truth Organic Juice Drink with Probiotics. It's to support a healthy immune system or to support immune health. It's cocoa pina sunset. It looks super refreshing and it's only like three grams of sugar. So I got it. It's only 30 calories and we're gonna try it because I'm super thirsty. I don't know, it doesn't have that much taste to it, I feel like. Is this what coconut water tastes like? Because I've never had coconut water. And the first ingredient in here is filtered water, organic coconut water. It also has organic pineapple juice, so I don't know. I am currently heading home. It is 423. My poor baby has been in her kennel since 150. Literally like two and a half hours, but mama's coming for you, baby. Granger, I just leave him out in the house because he's such a good boy. He's not gonna make a mess. My back freaking hurts and I'm ready to be home. Oh, Bubba, you want to go out party, huh? Come on, let's go party. Come on, go party. Go party. Yes, I see you. I see you. Go party. Did you miss mom? Did you miss mom? Okay, finally home from running errands and the grocery store. So you know what this means. A quick grocery haul. I got Jared some honey wheat bread. I got me some sourdough bread because I'm obsessed with sourdough bread. Got some sourdough English muffins. Two Fiji apples. I don't think I've ever tried Fiji apples that I can remember. And the apples and peanut butter just sounded super good. So I got two apples. Bananas. Some raspberries. Some more of the original bitching sauce. And then I wanted some dark chocolate hummus so I could dip it with my pretzels because that just sounded amazing and I haven't had this in a while. I actually don't think I've ever had that brand, but it looks really good. Some chicken thighs, mushrooms, onion, some butter lettuce, zucchini, green peppers, avocados, natural creamy peanut butter, some more of the Celsius drink packet things for like my workouts. 
dairy-free shredded cheese. I got cheddar and mozzarella, some wasabi sauce, and some liquid aminos. Ripple unsweetened milk. I got ripple this time because it was like so much cheaper than the flax milk that I've been getting that I really like. I got some spinach, that drink that I showed you guys in the car. Some kombucha, I got GT Synergy kind. I got the gingerberry and then the guava goddess. And then I've seen so many people talk about this and rave about it, so I wanted to try it. It's the Harmless Harvest Organic Coconut Water. But I don't know if I'm gonna like it because, I don't know, and it was super expensive. This whole thing was just $5, like $5 for water. Like that's crazy. But I'm gonna try it. I know Bebe Hey loves it and then also so Arlene Sanitas. And then I got some vanilla bean vegan protein because tomorrow I want to make peanut butter protein balls and it needs vanilla protein. So I'm going to do this. Oh, and then I also got some eggs and some liquid egg whites. And then at Walmart, I had to get Bubba some food. This is the Imes active kind. I've never seen this kind. Like I, we always get Imes, but I've never seen the active. So that's kind of cool. I was excited about that. And yeah, that is my grocery haul. So uh, my freaking back hurts so bad. Like I just want to cry, honestly. But my hair is crazy. I just made a little snack plate. I have some pretzel thins and then I have a little bit of that dark chocolate spread. And then this is a tuna mixture. So I have tuna, avocado mayo, and then some honey mustard in there. And it is so freaking good. This is my second time having this this week and it's so good to dip in with the pretzels. Sister watching basketball. Oh, was that an open layup? What the heck, man? But anyway, I'm sitting down to watch some basketball. I forgot that I also went to Ulta and I need to show you guys what I got. But I'm also like very hungry because I've hardly ate today. So I'm garfing down my snack and then I'm gonna lay on the couch and just relax for a bit and edit because I need to give my back a little rest. But anyway, we have an Ulta haul. Oh great, my battery is freaking about to die. Okay, so I finished my snack plate and if you're a dark chocolate lover, I think you would like that hummus stuff. But now for my Ulta haul, I changed my battery. <laughs> what I originally went there for was to get the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is the illumination one and I guess this is the one that was on sale, the 50% off. I didn't know that it was like just the illumination one because I got the regular one and I rang it up and it rang up full price and they said that only this one is the 50% off so I switched to this one because it was like $21 off. And then the brushes were also 50% off. This one is the Complexion Perfection Airbrush. So I think this is originally like $24 and I got it for $12. And I've been really enjoying putting my foundation on with a brush again. I go back and forth between sponge and a brush and right now my thing is just a brush. So I figured I might as well get like the best makeup brushes of all time since they're 50% off. I'm excited to do my makeup tomorrow for church. Oh my god, it's so soft. Literally so soft. So this is what this brush is. It's kind of an angled brush and looks like it's gonna work so well. And then I got some OPI Impress Nails. This is the bubble bath color and I just thought they were so cute for spring and my nails look literally like so freaking terrible. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna get some nails and we're gonna put them on. Way cheaper than going to the nail salon to have them done and it saves so much time too. And then the last thing that I got a Hot Tools curling iron. This is the one and one fourth extra long curling iron slash wand. I originally went there to get the, it's not pronounced babyless, but it's it looks like that's how you would pronounce it. But they didn't have the extra long barrel one. And since I have long hair, I feel like the extra long barrel would just be super handy. So I'm excited to try this out. This isn't titanium like I need, like the babyless or what, however you pronounce that one is. But the lady that helped me said that it's like the step right under titanium. So it should work similar to that titanium one. So I'm hoping it works. And if it doesn't, obviously I can always take it back. And it was also a little bit cheaper. I kinda wanna curl my hair tonight too, but I'm just so tired. So I'll just practice. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It's kind of weird because this thing doesn't go all the way out to here. Finding a good curling iron is hard. It is hard. Anyway, enough chit chatting. I'm gonna go be lazy for a little bit because my back is killing me. 
see in a bit. Y'all, my dog just about killed herself and I'm still so very furious. But this is the second time she's almost knocked this mirror over and almost landed on the corner of that. She like goes up and like paws at it like aggressively at the bottom of the mirror and then that like causes it to come forward. Well, I was literally walking out the room when I heard her doing it and I turned around and I literally just see this mirror slow motion just starting to fall and I like sprinted over here and barely caught it and saved it from falling and cracking. I don't know why she does that and it makes me so mad when she does and I was already kind of irritated because I tried out my new curling iron and look at my hair. Where's the curls? Okay, but better lighting. You can see the curl in my bangs. That's about the only place that it holds the curl. Everywhere else, no friggin' curl. I even hairsprayed it, curled it twice, and nothing. So I I don't know why I went against what I know that I need. I know I need a titanium curling iron. So why did I get a not titanium curling iron again? I let the lady talk me into it, saying that it was basically the same thing, but it's not. It's not the same thing. My hair is not holding the curl. So, guess I'm returning that curling iron as well. And I think the one that I want, they don't have in store, so I'm gonna have to order it online. But like, I'm not paying 70 bucks for a curling iron that's not gonna do anything to my hair. I'll insert like a picture of like Casey Holmes or Olivia Messler, what their curls look like and what I'm trying to get my curls to look like by using a curling iron. And it's just not, not even comparable, so. <laughs> Love that for me, y'all. It is currently 8.50 and I am in bed on a Saturday night. This is my favorite thing to do on the weekends is go to bed early. My freaking back is killing me and I cannot wait for Jared to get home so he can <laughs> spray some more of that stuff on my back. My back was hurting so bad earlier that I took it over to the neighbor's house and had the neighbors put some on me. It worked for a little bit but now it's back to like hurting again so yeah Jared cannot get home soon enough but I'm gonna go ahead and just log off for the night. I'm just gonna finish editing my sheen haul. Speaking of my sheen haul these little clips if you watched it <laughs> they came in really handy for washing my face just holding my bangs back but yeah I will see you bright and early tomorrow, I guess. Let's go party. I miss Slowpoke. Sunday. I just made some French toast, my protein French toast, and I made some coffee, which it's pretty full. All the foam didn't fit in it, so I have to drink it down. I have church here at like 10.30, so I need to be ready by 10 to leave. So that gives me an hour and a half. Eat, get ready. I'm very excited to use my new foundation and my new brush. I'm just gonna throw on a quick YouTube video while I eat my breakfast so I'm entertained, and then I'll probably head into the room and start getting ready because no matter what I always feel like I'm late getting to church because I just like think I have all this time and I piddly fart around and then when it comes down to it I'm like calling ass to church and it's not good so we're gonna try not to do that today I kind of wanted to curl my hair but I'm not wasting my time with that curling iron so <music> Let's go do our makeup. Let's go to your favorite room in the house. Are you ready to go to your glam room? Are you ready to go to your glam room? Or my makeup room is her favorite room in the house. And I don't know why. She always gets so excited to go in there. Huh, sister. Do you want to go get pretty with mama? Why are you eating my hair? You're getting so big. You're getting so big. Yes, you are. That's my hair. Let it go. <laughs> Look at that butt. Her say, oh, I love this room. Okay, it's a mess, don't judge, but she just loves coming in here. I don't know why. These are her favorite room. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like curled with my wand, because that's currently what I'm using on these bottom pieces. And I'm gonna try and curl my top layer again 
with the curling iron that I got yesterday. But this just curls my... Why do you have a kitchen towel? Why do you do that? But these curls just hold literally for days. And this is a titanium wand. So I think that's the difference. Um, also, update on my foundation. I do not like it. <laughs> I just feel like it's so, so, so glowy. Which, I mean, I know it says it's illuminating. But I feel like the coverage is not full coverage at all. Which is what I like. I don't know. I'm not going to return it. I'm just going to keep it and use it for like summertime because it has 50 SPF which is amazing and I can always like mix it with other foundations and make it more matte but I didn't today because I just wanted to test it out on its own but yeah not the biggest fan I think it makes me look so much older than what I am with how glowy it is but it would also be like a good just foundation to throw on in the summertime to like go to the lake or you know just like run errands super quick so I'm definitely gonna keep it so yeah my back was feeling better. Jared sprayed a whole bunch of stuff on it last night when he got home and then I put the heating pad on it for like 10 minutes and it felt so good last night and it didn't hurt me up until I started doing my makeup today so that sucks. But just like the curls that these give and they stay. I don't even have to spray anything on them until like I'm done curling my whole entire head. I'm gonna do one more layer using my wand and then I'm gonna switch to the curling iron for this top layer just to see how it does throughout the day. Okay, so curls are all in. Look how curly they are when I curl them. But when I brush them out, they don't stay that way. Let me hairspray it because I don't want to get hairspray on my camera and then I'll come back. So I changed and I don't know about my hair. Like, I feel like it doesn't look terrible, but it definitely doesn't hold the curl like my wand does. Which I don't know if you can see underneath there, but let me go see if I can set you guys up somewhere better. So like, I don't know, I just feel like it's so flat. Like this was my curling iron curl. Like there's nothing there basically. And my wand curls are just like, so curly. You guys are probably like, you're an idiot. They look the exact same, but they really don't. The only pieces that I feel like it holds a curl are my bangs. Like these stay curly. And I literally hairsprayed the shit out of it. Like more than I typically would. And it's just not, it's not staying. So I don't know what to do. I'm obsessed with this shirt, you guys. It's from Shein. All right, let's go to church. Okay, so it is a lot later. It's now 1.33. I went to church and then just came home and hung out with Jared for a little bit before he had to go to work. He was working on the shower in the bathroom for a little bit and then I I just put my mountain of clothes away that was literally in our hamper for like far too long. And I started some laundry. I'm washing our sheets because there's dog hair all over it. But this is like not focusing, I feel like. I'm so sorry if it's like not focused. But now I just sat down to relax because my back started hurting. I feel like such a grandma these days. I made a nice coffee. Yum, so good. And then I also made the same snack from yesterday because it was so good. And I'm just watching the KU game now. Mm, 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 mm. My battery's about to die. But I still haven't even got my video finished editing and I need to get it up today. So I'm just gonna lay here, work on that and rest my back, eat my snack. What are you doing? What are you doing in the shower? <laughs> I just switched the laundry over. My sheets weren't quite dry. Bubba had to go check to see if she did anything bad. Our sheets weren't quite, weren't quite dry yet, so I just restarted them for a little bit. And now I think I'm gonna go for a W-A-L-K with Mr. Bubba's. We just have been on the couch and watching the KU game. KU won, so they're going to the final four. My husband's gonna be so happy. But yeah, now I'm putting on some leggings because I feel like it's kind of chillier outside. Let's see the temperature. So yeah, it says it's 60 degrees and it feel, feels fair. I'm already cold inside, so I know I'm gonna be cold outside. Is it like super exposed? I feel like it is. <laughs> but I got my video done. It's currently exporting and I'm about to upload it to my channel. I wanted to to work out today, but I just figured that I should not because I need to listen to my body and give my back, you know, a rest. So I figured walking. Why did you just untie my shoe? Oh my God, child. So I figured walking is very beneficial, but it's like not so hard on my back as jumping around and everything else is. So that's what we're gonna do. This is the walk fit. 
just the black crew neck sweatshirt. I don't know what these are. They're Lululemon leggings. I just don't know what they're called. And then some Nikes. Don't know what they're called either. Let's go get a little bit of cardio in. So we just got back from our walk and I kind of want a little snack and apple with PB. What is going on with my hair? <gasps> I forgot I was totally gonna make my protein balls today. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen now. How could I forget that? I've been literally been craving those all weekend. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of time. I just am feeling not very motivated right now. I still have to put the sheets on my bed and make my video go live. Put more clothes away. I know it wouldn't take that long to make. I just don't wanna know it. Do doggies want some peanut butter? Get down, honey. She's like, uh, yeah, mom, is that even a question? Lick my finger, butter gets the knife. Very safe, huh? Oh, we love peanut butter, huh? So, I just made some dinner. It's in the oven cooking. I just made some chicken and some veggies. Honestly, that apple was probably like my favorite apple that I've had. And I'm gonna start getting Fiji apples from now on because it was so dang good. I look so glowy from that CC cream I used. I had to go over to the neighbors again. They had to spray my back because it's just hurting so bad. Yeah, I'm drinking a kombucha. I'm gonna watch some Netflix while I eat my dinner. I also wanted to update you guys that I am reading a book. This is the Khloe Kardashian Strong Looks Better Naked book. I took the cover off of it because it's honestly so disgusting. I ordered it off of Amazon and I bought a used one and the cover's really gross. But a good book so far. It's just like very motivational and like I said a few vlogs back or whatever, I have been re-watching all the Keeping Up with the Kardashians episodes and stuff. So I just watched like season 11 or season 12, something like that. And that's when Chloe was writing this. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna order that off Amazon. I wanna read it. So I did. I'm on page 68. I honestly haven't read it in a few days because I've just been so busy with filming and editing. And I think the last day I read it was Thursday night. I try to read at least like 20 pages the night and I'm gonna do this before I go to bed since I don't have to worry about editing tonight, which is very nice. I can just relax and read and chill. Yeah, I am probably just gonna close the vlog off here because I'm sure it's very, very long. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see next. If you haven't already, make sure to, okay, my dogs, they have no respect for me when I'm filming. That is the loud noise that you're hearing. But if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile.